In this tutorial, I'll explain how to apply a function to each element of a data matrix using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the matrix that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix is appearing, which is called MET. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that we have created a matrix containing five rows and three columns. And all of the values in this matrix are numeric. Now let's assume that we want to apply a function to each element of this matrix. Then we can simply apply this function to the entire matrix object, as you can see in line five of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the square root function to our matrix. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new matrix object, which is called mat new one. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing, which is called mat new one and we can print this updated matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that our new matrix contains the square root of each value in our input matrix. So in this first example, I have shown you a very simplified example because in this case, it was possible to apply the square root function simply to our matrix object. However, sometimes we are dealing with more complex functions and then it might make sense to use a different alternative. And this is what I want to show you in the second example of this tutorial. So for this example, I'm first creating a user defined function, as you can see in lines eight to 10 of the code. So my function will be called my fun. And then within the function, I'm specifying that I want to multiply an input value X by the value three. And then I want to add the value 10 to this result. So if you run lines eight to 10 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new function object is appearing, which is called my fun. And then in line 12 of the code, I'm showing how to apply this function to all elements of our matrix. And for this, I'm using the apply function. And within the apply function, I'm specifying the name of our matrix object. So in this case, our matrix is called mat. And then I'm specifying a vector of two values of the values one, which stands for the rows of our matrix and two, which stands for the columns of our matrix. And then I'm specifying the name of our user defined function. And the output of this is stored in another matrix object, which is called mat new two. So if you run line 12 of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new matrix is appearing, which is called matnew2. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 13 of the code. And then you can see that we have created another matrix and to each of the elements of our input matrix, we have applied our user defined function, myFun. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.